Before they were famous. Before they hit the big time. Rare footage and photos. A trip back to the early days when a winning smile, raw talent, and impeccable style could put you on the fast track to fame. Before they were rock stars, a VH1 musical journey from the cradle to the stage. Can you pick out the budding rock star in this third grade class? We're putting our money on Mr. Personality here. Why would you stay? Dave Matthews sure did his schoolmates proud. He and his band have proven that nice guys can finish first and grab a few platinum albums along the way. But this Virginia boy didn't become the king of rock overnight. He got his start playing bars, fundraisers, anywhere they'd have him. The Dave Matthews Band formed in 1991 and soon began their first big tour. Okay, it was limited to Fraternity Row. You gotta start somewhere. We were the drivers, we were the players, we were the people that set up, we were the people that broke down day and day and day and day. It was a real grind, but Dave couldn't get enough. When the band wasn't gigging, he found other cats to jam with. <laughs> Here he is in 1993, wowing them at a local club in Virginia. Dave wasn't the only member of the band who did a little moonlighting. Drummer Carter Beaufort got some airtime as house drummer with BET on jazz. Low, then out of wow, pretty classy. But it was bassist Stefan Lassar who scored the real primo gig. There he is in 1991, performing at a Mother's Day music festival. The job was a real coup, and we hear the funnel cakes were excellent. We've got two more short student presentations after this, quite interesting. Two songs left, and then we're going to hear from the fabulous and new Dave Matthews Band. Unfortunately, the band's right big now, moment like wasn't caught on tape. I guess the battery ran out. Don't worry, boys. No one misses your act these days. Who's this English hooligan? He may look a little cranky here, but he mellowed out.